I think of it like the bread's always talking to you, telling me all kinds of things, just basic things about how it's doing. I should have put more water in the French yesterday, I should have let it come up in the room. Oat bread is very happy. Oat bread is content today. The spelt bread is content today. The sandwich bread, even though it's the same as the French bread, is weirdly happy. Yeah, that's the fun part. There's all this information kind of coming at you all the time and you have to, if you care, then you have to respond to it, all of it. There's never really a begin or end to any of the bread. It's just like the starter keeps on going, the bread keeps on going, the bread takes two and a half days, pizza takes two and a half days, croissants take four days. All the days are kind of intertwined. And so the actual putting the bread in the oven part is what starts at, at four, but that's kind of yesterday's work coming to fruition. So we're here at Tinder Hearth Bakery in West Brooksville, Maine. I'm Tim Semler. Um, my other half, Lydia Moffat, is with the kids right now. People spend close to 16 hours a day here baking bread or doing some part of the bread process Monday through Saturday, really. So there's a lot going on in there in the, in the kitchen space, but there's croissant production, bread production. The bread is, and the pizza, the, the anchor point, which everyone comes together around. We started basically with like a few thousand dollars. Half of us were working on lobster boats and in kitchens to like get to pay the bills in the beginning. In the beginning, we just wrote people letters asking for money for just to buy bricks and to buy drywall and to build the first baking space. I mean, it was just like 100 here, 500 there, just from community members really like came from the ground up and started with the bare minimum of what we could get by and a whole bunch of people were living here at the time, about 10 or 15 of us just building it brick by brick and all those people are, you know, really my best friends. You know, me and Lydia were here wanting to make something happen but it would have never happened if other people wouldn't have been like, yeah, this is a thing, we should, we should pitch in and be part of this. Hey buddy. Say hi. <laughs> Everything's based around cars now and you gotta drive to town and such. And so it puts us at risk of falling apart as healthy humans, not having a casual proximity to other people. And so we started the bakery simply to have a place to rub shoulders with other people and run into people unexpectedly like you would in any town. The remembering of a piece of pizza or a piece of bread and how good it was or, the, or what the flowers were like when you were next to them. Those are the kind of things that I'm hoping will live on. I started baking because of just pure instinct of uh, being captivated by something very visceral like fire and bread and dough. And the only reason that has been possible and that there's been fertile ground for that is because of other people doing the same thing for really generations, but people following their heart, whether it's milking cows or roasting coffee or doing all this artisan bread stuff. I mean, that's just been ancient and it happened forever, but we lost it. In so many ways, the generation before us did a lot of laying the ground or like setting up the garden bed, so to speak. The whole back to the land movement and everything brought local farming back and all this local food being up here where we are, that there's this intense limitation on, on what you can do with, with your business. It's, not, it's really hard to like move them along, to sell them, for them to change hands. It's not very likely. So that keeps everybody honest. Is like, I'm doing this because this is what I want to do with my life. There's nowhere else to be, nowhere else to go. All, all these experiences that we have together, like eating good food and being close and being safe, like all those things are just miracles. And when there is a, a place in the world that's ripe for that, where those things can happen, you know, it, it is something to be savored. Here they come. <laughs> What's that? <laughs>